Okay, one, two, three. Action! Okay, um, what is up guys? Fahad here with Za once again and today we have Mervin. Mervin, how are you man? I'm good, yeah. thank you. Yeah, and shake his hand. So, uh, Mervin, thank you for you know reaching out to us and uh, you know sharing your ride. You know, this is a uh, Yamaha MB3125, is it? Yeah, another three-wheeler. Another three-wheeler. We have, we have, so far we have the Piaggio Foco, uh, then we have the Adiva, uh, uh, then now we have another three-wheeler. The, the Yamaha Tri City. Yamaha Tri City, yeah, yes. The Yamaha 125 Tri version. 125 yeah. version. And I have to say that the Tri City, when I see this on the road, it reminds me of, you know what, Cisco. No? <laughs> yeah, <correct. laughs> yeah. That time, when Tri City just came out uh, uh. in the market, uh, I was at AS Poon. I want to pay the installment, installment for my MP3, you know. Then I was like, eh, hey, three wheeler, uh, I try, uh, I, I sit, then I try, eh, hey, very light, lah, uh, and then I I asked the mechanic ah uh, the salesperson eh hey, uh, what's the CC 125 ah yeah a bit underpowered to me underpowered lah but mm. never mind we'll just talk about the power later on so before we actually um, talk to Mervin about his uh, Tri City 125 uh, we're gonna give a bit of introduction about it eh? first introduced in Thailand in 2014 the Yamaha Tri City 125 is a tilting three wheeler maxi scooter made by Yamaha it was initially developed due to the success of the Pagio MP3. Engine is a 125cc single cylinder 4 stroke equicool SOHC with fuel injection and an automatic V belt transmission. In Singapore, the Tri City is somewhat a rare sight as compared to its rival, the Pagio MP3. It's also used by Certi Cisco for the enforcement duties. And uh, so, Mervin, I want to know what's the reason of you getting a Tri City eh? 125? Ah? <laughs> so, for me, I just passed my license this year, January. Mm -hmm. So, even before like so-called being allowed to take a motorcycle class to be licensed. Uh -huh. My family say after I pass, I must buy a three-wheeler. Mm. So uh, while I was learning class 2B, I was looking out for three-wheeler option within 200cc back then. Mm. So to be honest, 200cc for three-wheeler, right, there isn't a lot of option. Mm, yes, so right. from what I know, right, there's only three available. The AD1200, mm -hmm. the, this uh, Tri-City125 and the Piaggio MP3125. So out of these three, then I read a lot of motorcycle review. Uh, they say if you buy Yamaha or Honda, you will not go wrong, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, so, <laughs> so that's why I ended up with a Yamaha Tri City 125. Mm. Lah. Ah, okay. So another thing that I want to mention is also, uh, I feel it's quite a good beginner bike for for me lah. Also because of the weight lah. So the wet weight of this bike is about 152 kg, mm. which is considered one of the lightest for a three wheeler. Yes, yeah, true, true. Yeah, then another thing, uh, there's a flat uh, floor area. Mm. So it's quite good for beginners. La. Then you know you don't have to like step your leg step over the, the, ah, the bike. Unless you're stopping. La. Yeah, mm. correct. This Tri City, I have to say that when, you know, like how to say, you know Cisco, uh, they use his bike, uh, it's kind of like, how to say, uh, lama, enforcement coming, uh, enforcement coming. <laughs> yeah, that's my impression of the of the bike so far. La. But Zah, I don't know about you, what do you think of the Tri-City? Uh? Personally, I love three-wheel bike because mm. of its uh, agility, uh, of its cornering. You know, when you corner with a three-wheel, like I mentioned in previous uh, videos on yeah. the MP3 and the Adiva, right? When you corner with a three-wheeler, you know, the bike actually sticks to the line that you want to corner, you know. Mm. So that's that's the thing I like about uh, three-wheel bike. Mm. Other than that, okay lah, I have to say, the engine is a bit underpowered because it's a 125cc. But then again, there's not much option in the market. Because for this uh, 125cc, it's a 2014 to 216 model lah, mm. when it first came to Singapore. It's the first gen. Yeah, correct. Mm. You can say so lah. Then after that, Yamaha did bring in the 155 version. Mm. The oh, engine okay. is exactly the same as the NMAX and the Aerox. Oh, so see, it see. is very reliable. Ah. So for the uh, 155 version, of course the engine is more powerful. Then it comes with uh, ABS, ABS and the uh, LED, okay. LED headlights uh, as well as uh, additional the parking brake. Uh. Ah. This one no parking yeah. brake? Uh? This one don't have, the 125 oh, okay. one. Yeah, like one have, uh, yeah. But personally for myself, I feel that uh, these three wheelers don't really need ABS mm. because it's quite hard to jam up the front wheels la, given mm. like how stable the, the bike is. La. Mm, okay, see, see. I understand that you're the second owner. You're actually the second owner of this bike. Eh? So how, how much did he sell you at that time? So for me, uh, this bike, I got it at quite a good price. La, and mm. I must say uh, thank you to the previous owner for <laughs> selling me this. And I'll definitely take good care of it. La. So I got it about uh, 4,500 
uh, and the COE left about six years. Ah, uh. oh, six bro. years. Ah, uh. there's a it's steel a, cell. It's a bargain, bro. Huh. It's a bargain. Why you want to really? find a bargain for you know this? But machine is machine, I think. For for four four thousand, I mean for six years left. Uh, right at four thousand five. Hey, that's that's a. It's a bargain, sir. Yeah, and the condition you look at it is like brand new, sir. Yeah. Yes, I have to say the uh. first owner really did take good good care of this bike. Mm. After you you bought that one, your parents approve already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they they approve lah. Then so far, I also quite a safe rider lah. So for me, usually I don't really uh, lane split much lah, unless it's a uh, expressway jam lah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Understood, understood. So um, we noticed there's accessories already on the Tri City, yeah. Like this, uh, I don't know what's this called. It's a crossbar. It's the... a crossbar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also the box, does it came with it when you bought it? Uh, no. When I came with it, it came with uh, another the thirty nine litre shed box ah. mm. yeah, then I feel that that one is a little bit too small lah, so oh. I upgraded to the aluminium one mm. but I must say that aluminium boxes are generally quite heavy lah. yeah very heavy yeah, it's very heavy but mm. because this is a three wheeler lah, so I still feel like quite stable on mm. it because actually bikes are not meant to have the top boxes lah, because of mm. the position of where the box is lah. but for mm -hmm. this one uh, it's a three wheeler so I still feel uh, quite stable in, in the in the corner and all that. Ah, okay, okay. And so why do you put the this brace? Uh? Yeah, I must say that this crossbar is uh, crossbar. one of the very good uh, accessory for any scooter lah. So you see the flat uh, the flat uh, board over here, right? Yeah. You know, I can carry like a five kg, ten kg of rice. Mm -hmm. Then I just like take one rope <laughs> and just mount on the on this one. Uh, then you can settle. <laughs> so this is really one benefit of the mm. flat board lah. Uh. Personally, for myself, I have transported. A lot of things that bike shouldn't carry uh, <laughs> like a foldable table, uh, bench and all that uh, all, yeah, all can I, fit nicely. I, I vouch that, you know, because last time I ride Vespa, I uh, I don't know, uh, a lot of things I already carry, you know. 13 cartons of canned drinks, <laughs> a lot, of, a lot uh, I think all my friends, old friends uh, who knew me personally with that Vespa knew me that I actually Use it to like a, like a SUV. You know? so, we, so definitely with a three wheeler, right? You can expect versatility out of it. Uh -huh. Under seat storage situation, what's it like down there? So for me, the under seat storage a bit sayang ah, because it cannot fit my helmet. Oh, my oh God. yeah. Okay. So one thing is because of the fuel tank. So mm. if there is not uh, if the fuel tank is not in the middle compartment there, right? Then it has to be underneath the seat lah. Mm. So because of the fuel tank, that's why the under seat storage is not that much, and I oh. cannot fit my helmet lah. Ah, talking about uh, fuel tank, how big is the capacity, and how f how is the fuel consumption like? So this one, the fuel tank is six point six liters lah, mm -hmm. and I must say because I'm a very uh, like chill rider, uh, you you may not believe the fuel consumption I get lah, but I'm getting about forty three kilometers per liter. Oh okay. Yeah, <laughs> but I must also mention that uh, my CVT rollers right uh -huh. is using slightly heavier weight. Mm. So it's the 13 grams ah, instead see, of see. the standard 10 grams lah. Mm. So uh, the heavier roller will give me better uh, fuel consumption, but uh, less power lah, if you can say so. Yes. Mm. Okay, so I've been dying to ask uh, this lever. What does it do? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one is a uh, is a hook uh. You oh. can like hook your drinks and all that. <laughs> I died. I thought it's a lever. So like the Peugeot MP3. I uh, got the what is it? This lever is to hold the hold the two. suspension, uh. the two front wheel together. <laughs> I thought it's a lever. Bro. So I, if you open, I hook. <laughs> <laughs> so for this uh, Tri City, uh. you cannot lock the two front wheels on. Ah, uh. okay, okay. Yeah, but uh, for this bike, right, there is a upcoming 300 cc model mm -hmm. that is coming to Singapore soon, mm. And the engine is exactly the same as the X Max, mm. oh Yeah. My gosh. So that Yamaha did answer a question that everyone uh. is asking for, la. We uh. love the three wheeler. But we need more power. Uh, power. Yeah, we need more power. Yeah, I think I think Yamaha has done a good job in having several models of bike using the same, same engine. engine so yeah. you know you don't have uh, much trouble in finding spare parts mm. for certain certain models you know and expect i tell you the parts are whew, very <laughs> common very cheap i think eh? uh. that's why it's very common on the roads eh? for the past 10 months that you've been riding this bike right uh, how would you describe its performance in terms of uh, power uh, agility, nimbleness. We cannot expect much from a 125cc engine. Mm -hmm. So this one has about 11 horsepower. So the highest top speed that I went right is like 102, 105. 
based on the speedometer reading lah. Ah. So GPS speed probably lesser than that lah. <laughs> but okay. I can say that this bike is not uh-huh. not so comfortable in in that top speed for a long time lah. Mm-hmm. So uh, I would say the cruising comfortable speed for this bike is about. 85 lah, at most 80 to 85 kilometers per hour, mm-hmm. and then you really save a lot of fuel. I think it's sufficient mm. for you lah, because it's just, it's just a mode of transportation. It's not really anything fancy or head turning, you know. Yeah, it's just enough for you to get from point A, point A to point B lah. Yeah, mm. and then in terms of agility, the nimbleness be- in between traffic. Can so you do like an L uh, crank course, you know, <laughs> for example? Mm. <laughs> that one is possible lah, because the width of the bike is just slightly wider than a typical two B scooter lah. Mm. Yeah, so uh, you can. Still like uh, weaving through the traffic, yeah. Mm, yeah so no problem about that, lah. Because I ride MP3 before, right? The MP3 is a bit bulky, you know. In term, if you want to do all those, uh, it's in, in terms of nimbleness. The MP3 compared to this one, Tri City, because it's, it's a smaller bike. Uh, this is has more agility in maneuvering, you know. Mm. Whereas the MP3, on the other hand, you know, on a straight line is stable. Mm. But when it comes to all those uh, S-course. nimbleness, S cost, uh, it will be a bit. Uh, it will be a bit uh, tricky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavier in weight. Okay, I understand you rode it for ten months and you got it from your from another person. So, um, in your ten months of riding or from the previous owner's experience, has the bike given any issues or problems? So a uh, few months back, uh, I got of a engine check light uh, Then I, I didn't know what was it. Mm-hmm. Then I initially I thought it was a battery problem. Uh. So after swap the battery, so the battery take out is about two years old uh, So mm-hmm. I thought the problem already solved. So after riding for a while, the engine check light came back uh, oh. Then mm-hmm. the bike couldn't uh, start anymore. So I got it uh, towed back to a workshop lah. Mm-hmm. And I must say that it's quite hard to find a towing company that is able to tow three-wheeler lah. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Because yeah. usually they only got like one plank that is just nice for the two-wheel. Mm. So for three-wheeler, they either need maybe three planks or a wider plank lah to be able to tow a three-wheeler. Mm-hmm. So end up found out it's a rectifier fault lah. And from my understanding, the shop told me that it's quite a common problem lah because the bike is about four, four years plus lah. Then the rectifier spoil is uh, it's quite reasonable lah. And the parts wasn't that expensive lah because it's a Yamaha. Mm-hmm. So for me, I feel that the reliability of this Yamaha Tri City is definitely up there lah. Then uh, motorcycle Facebook groups and all that, no one is experiencing any uh, weird issues or problem lah. But they did mention that the front suspension is a bit hard lah. Mm-hmm. So for other three wheeler right, like the Adiva or the Piaggio, they are using uh, like double wishbone kind of suspension similar mm-hmm. to a car mm-hmm. and the Piaggio is using a hydraulic so for this one the front there is for a standard motorcycle the telescopic fork lah. Yeah. so the suspension travel at the front is quite low so I must say that the front suspension is uh, quite quite stiff and quite hard lah. Mm-hmm. so when you go over bumps and all you must really slow down because we we don't want to afford to damage the the wheel uh, bearing on the this three, uh, three mm-hmm. wheel system because mm-hmm. it can get very it complex costly, yeah. to to dismantle and yeah. repair this uh, mm-hmm. three wheel system. Uh. So how to say uh, uh, we all know that the MP3 the the front suspension really has a lot of issues uh, mm-hmm. from Zas experience. <laughs> so so have you ever uh, faced any issues with the the front front I uh, mean wheel assembly? For me, no, because uh, the front is actually very much mechanical. Mm-hmm. There isn't any like uh, hydraulic stuff to to uh, stop the, the front from tilting, to mm-hmm. make it uh, upright and all that. Mm-hmm. So the front is very much mechanical like any other uh, motorcycle out, out there. Because yeah. oh, oh, it's really like yeah, mechanical, they don't have oh. any like gas to stop. Ah, so, 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 so pros and cons, la. one disadvantage is so really very So it's mechanically very spartan in nature, la. it's not really but, uh, that uh, loaded with, um, how to say, hydraulic. Technology, technology, yes. Technology. So how is your maintenance schedule like? So how, how much you usually when and how much you spend on monthly servicing? Mm. So for this bike, uh, actually the back end is almost the same as an MX or, or uh, uh, Aerox. Uh-huh. Mm. So for me, it's uh, every 4,000 oil change, then the uh, gear oil about 9,000. Mm-hmm. Then the... So this bike doesn't have an oil filter. Mm. It's only a oil strainer la, that, mm-hmm. you, that you need to clean. Then other than that, the CVT belting 
I'm sure you guys got see like Facebook page got a lot of people offer like full service for mm -hmm. MX and Aerox. Right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. this one costs about twenty dollars more expensive than uh, oh. MX lah. So yeah. for a three wheeler, I feel it's like really very affordable lah. Oh. So one thing must take note is the front wheels lah. So you need to change the tire and the brake pads together as a pair. Oh. Yeah. So that is probably the only. Uh, you cannot slight change like, how to say the left wheel or the right? Yeah, little go one side. Who knows, you have, you have any corner left only, you never correctly corner right. You know? <laughs> yeah, la, that, that's the, 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 the one thing about the three-wheeler, you have to have an extra, change an extra wheel. Mm, see, <laughs> and the brake pad also. Yeah. Okay. So, how much how much usually you spend doing servicing? So, the, On the full, average. full servicing uh, is about 140, uh, 140 uh -huh. like this. Then that one is about every 18,000 kilometers. Mm. So apart from that, the typical oil change uh, shops will cost around $20 for oil change. Mm. Then gear oil is around $6-$7 only. Ah, okay. So the maintenance for a three-wheeler is quite affordable. La. Mm. And then another thing is also the parts is also quite easy to, ah. to find. La. So one fun fact, uh, I'm actually using a Aerox belt. La. Because oh. previously during circuit breaker, mm -hmm. the Yamaha Tri-City belt was uh, out of stock oh. so the mechanic tried the Aerox belt and then he tried uh, and there's no problem la. so so far about 3000 oh. kilometers oh. and it's still <laughs> running well <laughs> so speaking of parts and accessories like, like how to say aftermarket parts for the Tri-City uh, you think it's a lot or just me? Eh? okay uh, for this Tri-City uh, uh. the accessories there's almost zero uh -huh. you can only and find universal accessories uh -huh. like the OEM box la the box or the or the crossbar ah, yeah. ah. because this bike is only available in thailand and and japan la. Mm. even so the the amount of riders out there uh, in other countries is also not not that much la. Mm. so in singapore maybe there's only like about 100 ish tri-city yeah. riders out there true, is it? yeah oh okay not not much i la. mean the tri-city will just how to say it's market towards a certain amount of people like there's a certain oh. niche of people i think I yeah, feel I think, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh. Like yourself, yeah. Lah, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like he mentioned, you know, not be, not not everyone sees the three wheeler as a motorbike. Mm, uh, yes. And it, maybe they are put off because of certain brands uh, or, and models. Mm. Uh, and, and so they, they think that, in my personal opinion, uh, maybe oh, three wheeler give a lot of issues. Give a lot of issues uh. Yeah, correct. Mm. But from what Mervin here spoke, uh, he seems okay, eh? Yeah. Yeah, even the previous owner also said. Other than that, I see there has a Yamaha, a big Yamaha sticker on the side flaring. Yeah, <laughs> and um, the box, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I have one point to add. Uh, yeah. This, uh, so there was once at night, uh, I was mm. riding and then I couldn't see a very big pothole on the, uh -huh. on the ground. Mm. Then the whole bike just like went over it. Alamak. Even though there's nothing happened to ah. me and the bike, right? But I hear a very loud like bump. Oh. So I can imagine if today I was riding a, a two-wheeler, two I maybe would have like tip and, and fall or maybe like. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So that's one advantage of the three-wheeler, I would say. Hmm. It's a stable, even, even at low speeds. Uh, it's very stable compared to a two-wheeler uh, at very low speed. You know, you will tend to wobble a bit but three wheel, uh, even at low speed, are uh, you there is a certain stability, you know. I think I think it's about the lane, lane splitting on the expressway lah. Okay, can because I? for normal two wheelers, right? Mm -hmm. The both wheels just need to be slightly off the center marking, and you are mm -hmm. fine. But for this one, right, I, my my whole bike needs mm -hmm. to be off the center marking. Oh. Otherwise, either my my front left wheel or the back wheel will touch the the center mark the center marking lah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So true. That's one point. There, there is there is one thing also I. I noticed when I was reading the MP3, uh, when lane split or, or you know, at the line, uh, whenever there will be certain wobbly, you know, wobbly feeling at the, with the back wheel when you hit the, the line. The uh, yeah, lane, I, I, lane I, marking. I, yes, lane marking. Uh, I, I get so it's in. a very weird feeling and boom, boom. Ah, it's <laughs> a very weird feeling. Serious, serious. You, you thought when you ride, suddenly you feel like you are going to fish tail, you know. Ah, but it's just the lane marking. Ah, it's just the lane marking. It's just that that thing will cause a bit of wobbly sensation. 
<laughs> so Yamaha Tri City riders out there, if you have any more comments or experience that you can share with us, do put inside the uh, columns below. The comment column. Yeah, comment. <laughs> comment put column. in the. <laughs> yeah, maybe your 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 advice could help uh, new riders to maybe get a Tri City. Tri City. As thinking of new riders, I know Kai, you've rode this bike for 10 months already. Uh, it's a class 2B. Definitely, I don't know if any 2B riders will even eye on this bike. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, sorry to say. Huh? But um, what kind of uh, what kind of riders would you recommend the Tri City for? Yeah? So the three wheeler is like mostly for like so called retired riders. Uh -huh. They just so want a, a, a simple <laughs> transport then safe, stable and, and all that la. And to be honest, for a three-wheeler, not much young, young person will actually ride la. Uh. From what I see, <laughs> all the three-wheelers that I met out there is like uncle uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest, it's true. probably of the youngest out there. Mm. <laughs> uh, uncle or enforcement? Yeah. <laughs> so, so do you recommend using this bike to do food delivery? Uh, this bike food delivery, I think, shouldn't be a problem lah, because mm -hmm. it will be a like standard Yamaha maintenance schedule, mm -hmm. and the parts is uh, easy to find. The fuel consumption, if you don't chong too much, actually is a acceptable and reasonable one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then it's also more stable on the rainy days lah. You know, sometimes during rainy days, you still need to do food delivery and all yeah. that. Yeah. So sometimes I see if, if the rain too heavy, some riders will just stop at the side of the road lah yeah. for safety reasons lah. Mm. Mm, I think this should be okay lah, and your legs ah, uh, protected. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is what Zah always tell me lah. So Mervin, I know what? it's been 10 months with the Tri City. Uh, what's your best memory with it? Best so far, memory. Uh, yeah. So far. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure you have more, but so far, what's your best memory with it? I think it's like every time raining, then I see actually wave, rain very heavy. Uh, then uh. the rider just stop at the left side, uh. waiting for the rain to subside. <laughs> then I just three wheeler just go past. Then like that. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. Rain there, mate. It's okay. <laughs> That's a good thought, man. That's a good thought. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, I agree. Something different on the road, and um, that's all I can say, lah. Uh. Mm. Oh, Zah. Once the borders are open, would you ever want to try bring this bike on a road trip? If it's uh, like bike group, same model together, uh. I think it's okay lah. But if it's alone, then uh, maybe not lah. Maybe go JB, pump <laughs> petrol, then go back. Uh. At least, at least do that lah. <laughs> uh, <bro>, uh. <laughs> where's the fuel tank? Uh? Where's the fuel? Uh, what, uh, oh, it's underneath. Oh, it's the underneath seat. the seat. Oh, uh. okay, okay. Just like a cup chai. Okay, okay. Now <laughs> I know. That's it for the video. That's it for the vlog. And um, thank you, Mervin, so much for coming out. No problem. And um, sharing, you know, your Yamaha Tri City. This is the very unique. Uh. Very unique bike, and uh, hopefully, despite its appearance, despite its uh, how to say, uh, the reputation uh -huh. of being an uncle bike, uh, <laughs> we <laughs> hope that more people will embrace it. Uh. Yes, true, true. Mm, I mean, it's versatile, it's a three wheeler, mm -hmm. safety, under seat storage. In fact, more uh, bike manufacturers are looking into manufacturing uh, three wheel, four wheel, mm, even four wheel, so, uh, right? even four wheel <laughs> bike. So, Maybe the future will be with three the three wheelers. We won't know. People are now nowadays people are safety conscious. Uh. Mm -hmm. Can already see that already lah. Uh. And uh, yeah, uh, any riders who love to review their bikes with us, um, talk to us about their bike. Uh, any models that we haven't reviewed yet, do come out and share with us. Yes, we really really appreciate if you can uh, message us because and in fact we are looking for people who are more than willing to let us interview them and feature them in our vlogs. I have to say, I, I, I like that, like that, a bit and the bike already shaking. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so that's it for the video, that's it for the vlog, and uh, yeah, we will see you in the next one.